we are given a credit card number and then we're supposed to print out the company or the brand of the credit card or if it's invalid we're supposed to print out invalid so let's start we first include stdio.h and then we have int main void and then we take an input from the user so we use the variable long long over here because a long long is actually going to is actually able to take in a lot more number of digits so credit cards are let's say this is credit card number let's say this is credit card number if it's less than zero is we want to ask the user again and again and again for the number so i'm going to pass to the user again for the numbers so i'm going to say get long long and to use this get long long function i must use the cs50 library yeah let's use the cs50 dot h and then i am going to use get long long along with the prompt which is going to be number and then after doing this what I need to do I need to check the validity of the credit card so I'm going to check validity of the credit card number and if this returns true then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out I'm going to print out the brand so I'm going to say print credit card brand credit card number and then what I'm going to do is otherwise if the validity is not true I'm just going to print F it's going to print F invalid okay backslash in here so then after doing this what we have to do here is we need to use create this fun these functions right so I'm going to create this function and bool or check validity of for long long credit card number so what's going to happen here is that the first we're going to calculate the length of the credit card. So I'm going to find the length of the credit card. And what we need to do here is we need to check using this algorithm. We need to check using this algorithm if our credit card is valid or not. So I'm going to use this algorithm and I'm going to say, you know what, if it so happens that this checksum is true. But before that, what we need to do is before using this algorithm, we need to check the length. Okay, and if the length of the credit card must be 13 or 15 or or 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the length of the credit card is 15, or if the length of the credit card is 16, or if the length of the credit card is 13, right? Then we can return. Tr we can check length of the credit card is 13, or the length of the credit card is 15, or if the length of the credit card is 16. Then we need to check if this is true and if the checksum of the credit card number if this is true then what is going to happen is I am going to return true so if I return true in that case I can use this shortcut and just say return so what this statement does is if this entire thing if this entire statement is true then we return true otherwise it's going to return false right so this is just a shortcut of if return true otherwise return false okay so I'm just gonna I'm just going to shorten this up and I'm just gonna say you know what just return this value because it's this is going to evaluate to either true or false so this is the shortcut for such an operation so after doing that you need to write whatever the this function depends on so this function depends on these two functions finding the length of the credit card so I'm just gonna say I'm going to find the length of a number n. How do we do that? Uh, to do this, what we need to do here is we need to say what we can do is we can define an initial variable called length. I'm going to say I'm going to have a for loop. And I'm going to initialize my length variable to zero, and then I'm going to say if while n is not equal to zero, I'm just going to update n by dividing n by ten every single time. And what essentially this is doing is we are taking a number like let's say uh, 1094. And then we, f we take four and then we update n to be this number then we update n to be this number and then we update n to be this number and then finally we update n to be comes zero and so once this number is zero we come out of this loop while this is happening what should happen is we must have a length variable which is going to be zero uh, which is already there so you know what i need to calculate the length so i can't keep length inside this for loop i need to do something like this and i'm going to return the length so what's happening here is that every iteration of this loop, we are calculating the length. So when it's like, for example, if it's 1098, we look at eight and 
you know remove this eight and we, we increment length by one as you can see over here we are incrementing length over here okay if you want to even shorten further shorten this code you can just include length right over here and then once you do this we need length over here because length shouldn't be inside this for loop so this is saying that I am initializing length to 0 and then while n is not equal to 0 I'm just dividing n by 10 all the time and updating the value of n and I'm also updating the value of length okay and then I'm returning length all right so after doing this we need to define we have done one part of this problem which is finding the length and then checking if length is 13 15 or 16 after doing this we need to check we need to validate this credit card and return you know whether this is valid or not so to do that I'm going to create this function I'm going to return bool and I'm going to say if check sum and I'll take in a long long let's just take CCN short for credit card number so what I'm going to do here what the algorithm says you got to take every single digit from the end and you got to find whether you're going to find whether we are looking at the zeroth index or the first index or the zeroth index first index second index third index and perform a certain operation so what I'm, what we're doing here is we're taking a number like let's say 4096 and we're looking at a particular digit we have to basically add up all the digits which are at the even places so I'm going to add 6 plus 0 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the digits at the odd places multiply them by 2 and I'm going to add them but here's the caveat the caveat is when if it's 18 something like a two digit number then I have to individually add these two digits as well so I'm going to, I have to decompose 18 into 1 and 8 and add them individually so the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to loop over the entire numbers I can start with nothing and I can take credit card number CCN and what should happen at every iteration of CCN is I, I just have to take this and I need to remove this and then this should be my updated number right this part so what should happen here is that CCN should be divided should be updated by the value of CCN divided by 10 so this updates the CCN by removing one digit from the end so after doing this what, what should happen here is let's take int i equals 0 to look at what index I'm looking at so if I'm looking at index 0 I'm just simply going to add that into my sum variable so let's take a variable called sum initialize it to 0 and then I'm going to do this let's say i let's say uh, well CCN is not 0 and CCN divided equals 10 and I equals 0 and I plus plus so this is what's going to happen okay I plus plus and CCN divided equals 10 now what's going to happen here is I'm going to say if I is divisible by 2 if I is divisible by 2 then I'm simply going to add the credit card numbers last digit so if you look at this example if the example was 4096 okay I just took 6 which is the remainder when you divide this thing by 10 n mod 10 or ccn mod 10 is going to be 6 I take 6 and I just add that to my sum variable I just say sum plus equals this 6 or sum plus equals this credit card number mod 10 okay I'm just gonna say ccn I'm just gonna take sum plus equals credit card mod 10 otherwise what I'm gonna do is you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna figure out the I'm gonna multiply this thing by 2 okay I'm gonna multiply the last digit by 2 so I'm gonna say digit I'm gonna multiply the last digit by 2 this is the last digit right the last digit I multiply this by 2 and then I include that in my sum but what I do is instead of taking digit by itself this digit can be 18 right it can be two digit number so I need to divide this by 10 to get the first digit and I also need to take the modulus so that we can get 
the last digit, this is for the last digit and this is for the first digit. So what's happening here is something like this. If I get 9 times 2, which is 18, okay, what I'm trying to do here is I am trying to take this digit, which is n or digit mod 10. Or this is basically digit divided by 10, okay. So then after doing this, I'm just going to return what the algorithm says. If the last digit of the sum is 0, then you can return true. Okay, so I'm just going to say return sum equals equals. See, sum mod 10, the last digit. Sum mod 10 equals equals 0. Okay, so after having done this, we finished check sum. And then what we need to do is to need to print the credit card brand, so to speak. So we check the valid validity. If it was valid, if, if this credit card is valid, which means this is equal to true, then you print the credit card brand, otherwise you print invalid. So I'm just going to now this function here print credit card brand it's going to return nothing I'm just going to take in a long long credit card number so if it's Visa so the most MasterCards begin with this this and this American Express begins with this and so on and so forth so I'm going to say if it so happens that a credit card number is greater than or equal to 34 times now what is happening here is that I'm using I'm looking for Amex cards right Amex cards is 15 days numbers and it should start with 34 or 37 so to do that I'm just going to say if this E13 right because it's basically we have two digits over here and followed by how many zeros followed by 13 zeros not 13 zeros yeah 13 zeros because they are 15 days numbers 13 zeros if this is true and if this is true Credit card number less than equal, less than 35 e13 right so this in, ensures that the first two digits 34 so after this what's happening here is let's say or if this begins greater than or equal to 37 if this begins with the digit 37 38 e13 whatever the credit card number is this guy starts with 34 and then it has how many zeros over here it has a bunch of zeros over here so the number of zeros that it has is 13 because the total size is 15 so we have two digits over here two digits over here and then we have 13 zeros over here so e13 is simply the number of the number of zeros okay so either you could write this entire thing or in short you can write 34 e 13 so this ensures that this number credit card is beginning with the number 34 this ensures that the credit card is beginning with the number 37 and if this so if this is true i'm just print f so print f a max max slash n otherwise if it so happens that credit card number is greater than or equal to 51 e 14 so if it's beginning with 51 52 53 54 55 something like these numbers and then what we need to do is we need to print we need to print mastercard right mastercard backslash n otherwise so this is between this number and it's less than 56 e 14 because it's a 16 digit number you can see here it's a 16 digit number uh, otherwise what should happen here is otherwise if the credit card number is greater than or equal to well you can see this starts with 4 and this is a visas use a 13 digit or 16 digit so Visa uses 13 digits or 16 digits so we are going to say we have 4 e 13 4 e 12 because uh, 4 is one digit and so number of zeros that is going to have does that this is going to have is 12 if this is true so I'm going to say and this this and CCN if it's less than 5 e 13 5 e 12 right because 13 digit number same thing is going to repeat for a 16 digit number 
but this is going to be 15 now so the 4 followed by 15 zeros and 5 followed by 15 zeros I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to say this happens then print f invalid backslash n right so after doing this this is not invalid this is going to be visa it's going to be invalid over here it's going to be invalid here and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this should work. Let's make credit. Let's see what are the problems over here. We have not defined all these functions on top. We'll go here, define all these functions, declare all these functions on top. So that the compiler, C compiler knows that these functions exist. C compiler is essentially looking for these functions. Check some. Okay, so once we've copied all the functions, what is happening? Let's try to make this again. Make credit. Okay, not a function, function pointer. Let's see. It should be or, right? Here. Make credit. card number make credit now slash credit let's try it with a couple of numbers here let's try it with this number a visa let's try this number so it seems to be working. Let's run check 50 on this. You should try more examples on this to understand what's going on. Let me just summarize while this is running. We take in a credit card number and so while this is running, I'm just going to try to summarize what's happening. We take in a credit card number over here and check if it's not less than zero if it's less than zero we can repeat the input this prompt again and again and again so what is going to happen after that is we can check the validity for the of the card if that is true then we're going to print the brand of the card we can also remove this because this boolean value is going to return true or false right you can even remove this so after doing that we can print the brand of the card otherwise we're going to print invalid so to check validity of the card we're going to find the length of the card and then if we check if the length of the card is 13 15 or 16 and we're going to check some, perform a checksum on the card, which is this algorithm over here, wherein you take, what what happens here is you take a credit card number and you look at the index that you're searching for, looking for, and at the end, so if you, you pick up one digit at a time, so you mod 10, you perform a modulus operation, you say CCN mod 10, and then you add that to your sum, and then if it's, the in, if the index is one, and what you do is you just multiply this digit by two and then this digit could be a two digit number so what you do is take the first digit out of this and you take the last digit out of this and then you add it to your sum and then return sum if sum is sum mod 10 is zero you return true otherwise you return false and then after you've checked for validity you can just print the credit card brand according to the conditions that are given so that's pretty much it like share and subscribe